outlining the characteristic properties of acids and bases. Four things you need to know. The five reactions of the acids, tricky bases, what's an alkali, and the effect on indicators. Well, I've tried to teach this many different ways to five reactions. It gets a bit boring and repetitive and by rote, but here's my new method. It seems to be working. So for all of these, swap the hydrogen for the metal. And that seems to work for these. So once I do that, I've got to fix up the products. Now, H isn't monatomic, it's diatomic, so it should be H2. And that's actually, that's fine now. Just balance it and you're done. So when you react an acid with a metal, it makes a salt plus hydrogen. Let's try another one. Acid with a metal hydroxide. Again, swap the hydrogens for the metal. Hmm, I'm going to have to fix this up a little bit. KSO4, that's wrong. If I look at the oxidation numbers, it, it needs to be K2SO4. And H2OH, that's just water. I've got to use to kind of force there, just believe in myself. H2OH, that's just water. Balance it up and you're done. Makes a salt plus water. Third one, acid with metal carbonate. Swap the H for the metal. CaCl plus... Ooh. Okay, CaCl, looking at the oxidation number, should be CaCl2. Okay, so that exists now. And HCO3, H2CO3 exists, that's carbonic acid, but actually that's carbon dioxide and water. And again, you just kind of got to look at it and go, okay, that's carbon dioxide and water. So acid and metal carbonate makes a salt, carbon dioxide and water. Just balance it up. The fourth one. Oh, that's a nasty acid and a metal oxide. Swapping the hydrogens for the metal. No. No, only one of those hydrogens is acidic. It's that final one on the ethanoic acid. So I'm going to swap that for the magnesium to give me... Oh, that doesn't exist. And nor does that. All right, that's water. I'm just going to use the force. Use the Thornley force. Ethanoate's minus and magnesium is 2 plus, so I'm going to mess about with that. Okay. So everything exists there. Just going to balance it up. And by tradition, the magnesium goes first. If you don't do that, it's still okay, but the metal tends to go first. So I've made a salt plus water there. And finally, Acid plus hydrogen carbonate. Swap in the hydrogens. What about that hydrogen? Don't worry about it. Just follow the rules. Swap the hydrogens for the metal. What do I have? Oh, that doesn't exist. And that's just a mess. All right, let's fix up the sodium phosphate. I'm going to be needing three sodiums there. Okay, that was easy. H3HCO. That just looks like water and carbon dioxide again. Just use the force. Copyright George Lucas. Smashing, and balance it up. So that makes a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. Now you could just learn those five types of equation by rote, but I like this way, this way's quicker. It doesn't drive me bananas trying to teach it. All right, what's next? We have tricky bases. These are mentioned in the syllabus. Now most bases have OH minus produced, but what about ammonia, how's that a base? Well, if you throw it into water, it's going to make ammonium hydroxide. And look, there's the OH minus there. So ammonia is, a, is still a base in water. But sodium carbonate and, and the hydrogen carbonates, they're, they're just bases. You just have to learn those. Not all bases have OH minus. Third thing, what's an alkali and a base? Are they interchangeable? Well, not really. Although the IB doesn't seem to care. A base, if you can manage to get it to dissolve in water... Uh, then it becomes an alkali. So uh, the other way of saying it is a soluble base is an alkali. Effect on indicators? Well, hopefully you kind of realise that acids and bases change the colours of indicators.